Well, uh, we've seen this match plenty of times, and Holland's always came up on top. Let's Except see if he can change Except it. Once. Except once. Sage so aptly points out. Hey, if you're on the stream, give us a shout out. Uh, get some other people on here. What if? What if? What if? What if? Are you? What if more people tune in? Right. You got it. All right. We get into match one here with Cohen and Sage. And of course it's backwards. We'll fix the hands quick. So we got Cohen going Diddy Kong. Because he's a tryhard. <laughs> I mean, but, like, can you blame the guy? I mean, you want to make it to Grand Finals, and, you know, he knows Diddy Call. Why not bust him out? Sure, absolutely. I mean, it's our job as players to learn the matchup. Diddy Kong. But it's practically an even game right now. Yeah, that's true. There's, um... You just gotta avoid like getting juggled by Diddy Kong, because that's like his strong point. He's very good See, at like, uh, yeah. uh, Right there, he was air dodging. Like he could have easily punished that like a up smash. Yes. But he like jumped up trying to punish him with an aerial instead. Yeah. And he got punished with an up air. Any better read on now? Diddy Kong's very quick with his moves. It's uh, one of his advantages. I've never seen a quicker air dodge. Than, uh, than Diddy Ooh. Kong. So he spot dodge there. Like. Yeah. What I like to tell like Sage and Kao and everybody, like it's always good to just stand there and see what they do. Like right. standing there does so much, and it gives you a chance to react. Better. Yeah, that's true. Um, when you're dealing with these characters that are real good at linking in combos or taking advantage of weaknesses or being quick about it. If, you, if you're smart, eventually they're going to make a move. And if you can, uh, if you can dodge oh. it. Oh, 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 no, oh, oh. I got oh, yeah. a little worried for Sage hey, You're right a little there. upset there about Sage's off-stage play. Uh, she had her up B. She was able to recover. Oh, oh but failed to DI that. Yeah, there you go. That was a free hoo-ha for Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like my glass has some cuts in it. Maybe thrown into a dishwasher with uh, with some sand. <laughs> that extra scrubbing power instead gouged a hole in my IKEA glass. Don't worry though, it's IKEA. They're only 80 cents a cup. Uh, two IKEAs in the Chicago land area. You've got one on uh, southwest side of the city, off of I-55 and 355 in Bolingbrook, my hometown actually. And you've got one uh, actually right down the street, across the street, in fact, from where we're at right now, out here in uh, in Schaumburg. This side of the highway is, of course, Rolling Meadows. But uh, if you need to make an IKEA trip, you should come out to uh, Super Smash Sundays at Stadium Sports in uh, Rolling Meadows. Yep, come check us out. We're a bunch of friendly people here. Yep. Glad to have you here. Absolutely. Now you got uh, you got uh, Diddy Kong with the decisive a lead right now, two stocks to the one. This is game one, right? This is game one. Right. Correct. We are here to see champions oh. play. And that's well, loser champions play. The best of the of the worst. <laughs> Yeah. That's one way to put it. <laughs> the podcast, we have still have to do Losers Finals and 1v1. That's what you're watching right now. And then we still have to do Grand Finals of Doubles and Grand Finals in Singles. Yeah, so we should be on pace to uh, to get a 9 o'clock start for that podcast. So make sure that you put the word out there. If the matches run late... Oh, and Diddy Kong takes the first one. Hoenn goes one up on Sage. If we uh, run a little bit late, what you're going to see are some great matches. You're going to see a doubles grand finals, and you're going to see a singles grand finals. So there's no way you can lose on this one. We're trying to get this uh, tournament back on schedule. We started about 5.20 today, advertised at 5, and uh, we're, we're doing pretty well, all things considered. Um, 
It is right. eight. And when fighting Diddy Kong, when you're using someone like like Rosalina, like her jab is like super good. Like just doing jab one and reacting to what they're gonna do. Yeah. Like is so good. Instead of like throwing your whole jab out there, doing jab one and they're likely to roll behind you because that's a natural instinct to mix them up. So instead of jab one, holding your shield to see what they're gonna do. And that they're tending to grab you, like punish that. Yeah. But they tend to attack right away, and you know, punish that. You know, it's all about like reading their habits. You know. That's what makes you a, a good player, so you're able to identify those opportunities and, right. and control. And for those of you who grew up playing Smash and, and never, oh really my god, oh, 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 what is going on off stage here? Oh, Why Rosalina that? loses her first stock. I'm. Not Oh man. Like, Rosalina was right there. I'm surprised he didn't grab the ledge there. I thought that's exactly what was going to happen. There's plenty of room, but uh, you saw it better than I did, I'm sure. Hoenn uh, feeling a little confident in this match. Some short hops uh, playing Pikachu. Oh, it just crouched there. Attacks Luma and gets punished with a grab for it. Hmm. See, and it's so hard to punish Pikachu's aerials too, because he like shrinks his hurt box. Yeah, and he like goes flat. So it's like you try to punish him with like a grab or something, and you're not able to do it. You can't do it. Yeah, he's he's it's very frustrating for Captain Falcon, especially. He just um, a lot of the way that his attacks work. Oh, just too. Oh, oh, I really. Oh. I thought he, he didn't had have me worried it. there. I thought he didn't have it. He had it. He had his up to use fine. Anytime someone's under oh, the stage, what? Tech, it's a lot of aerial momentum. Oh, oh but still not much. Wow. That's very unfortunate. Lilat's. Oh, this was a uh, Sage's counter pick, wasn't it? I don't think it was a it good choice. It must have been with. Uh, I think it oh, bent. Uh, oh, you don't get to do that. Oh, you do? I thought it's character first, then stage. Oh, okay. In a whole in like having multiple characters he can use, like he could take advantage of that. Yeah. He's, he has Pikachu, he has Diddy Kong. You know. He has a few other characters at his disposal, so but you'll mainly see his Diddy Kong and Pikachu come out. Right. Like, so if there's a stage well. he's not comfortable with one character, he can always him. switch to the other character. Of course one that's one of the um one of the advantages of being versatile is you know you can overcome some of those singular oh, counters. Man, not not even here. close. Hoenn takes the second match. It'll be one, uh, one or three more matches depending on how this plays out. It is a best of five. Uh, and Hoenn's uh, up a solid 2-0. Yeah, absolutely. Hero giving some good uh, pointers here. If you're tuning in for nothing, at least tune in to to learn a little bit about Smash and some of the ways that uh, our better players. Read. I like giving a I like giving a Akira a fat ego here. It gives me something to do. Plus, I can't beat him, so until I can, I will I will uh, compliment his playing skills. Also, you should be massively hyped out about getting to watch that. Then he goes back to Diddy Kong. I wonder what stage he picked. <laughs> We're going back to FD. He's proven that he can win the win with a Pikachu. It's stage for it. Little battle of the short hop, block, shot, block, spot, dodge, block, hop, chop, block, hop, shot, push, short hop, jab, 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 short hop. Oh, banana throw. Oh, me. Rosalina sticks her head out and gets hit with the forward smash. Oh, his aerial is just so painful to watch. Yeah. Did you know Diddy Kong's back throw gives 14% damage? Oh, yeah. 14. That's a lot for a throw. <laughs> and uh, he's got a lot of distance with his attacks, too. So, it's, yeah. wow. Look at that. I mean, just look at that up attack. Wasn't he's already been worked to 106%. You know, and, and Sage wants to be underneath. Uh, to, to, oh, he just can't do it. That monkey's too spry. It's too strong. 
Interesting to see that uh, Diddy Kong and, uh, and, and, and Donkey Kong are supposedly related, and yet one's a chimpanzee while the other's a gorilla. Mm -hmm. Two separate species from separated by millions of years of evolution. It's very curious how that how that happened. Uh, GG Nintendo. Yeah. In fact, uh, it was uh, actually what was it Rare that created these that characters? That is correct. Yeah, Rare uh, with Donkey Kong Country uh, was the first. A uh, serious foray of Donkey Kong onto the Super Nintendo world. Prior to that, it had been the Nintendo properties Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. They seemingly vanished from the face of the earth, by the way. Unless that was supposed to be a young Donkey Kong. You never know. Uh, anyways, Donkey Kong Country was unique in its uh, presentation because it used pre rendered 3D sprites. Um, and imported them in Super Nintendo um, rather than hand-drawn, um, which gave it a very three-dimensional look and allowed the, s the game itself to look a lot prettier than uh, what would uh, otherwise be possible with uh, this SNES's limitations. But we, right now we're seeing Hoenn with a two-stock lead, very commanding. He's just holding in stage control. Oh, and a good... Oh, God, it's so painful to watch. And Hoenn does it in three. Effortless three stock. Sage is not smiling for the first time I've ever seen. And I don't know Hoenn what to do about it. it. Hoenn takes it. 3-0. Hope you're enjoying watching Look the stream Look at the smirk here. on Hoenn's face. Oh, he's so Hoenn proud knows. of himself. I mean, he's, 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 he's made no uh, pretenses to his claims on practicing. He does practice very thoroughly. All right. I know how hard he practices. Just get practices till one in the morning. Practices till one in the morning while Akiro is busy messing with the honeys and walking his dog and still will come out with the victory. We shall see soon here as we advance into the grand finals. For, uh, are we gonna play doubles next or are we gonna play uh, 1v1s next? I don't know, I, I guess we can do one v one since me and Hoenn are here already, so we'll just. What well, might as well? We got we got Hoenn, we got Akira right now. Akira, thanks for uh, thanks for sitting in. Good luck on your match, and uh, you've got a long journey right there. For those of you who don't know how close everything is, you see my arm here, and then you see it there, right? 